your thoughts on this matchup tomorrow uh, after having a couple days to kind of uh, prepare? Yeah, man, it's a great challenge. Um, you know, obviously a, a really, really explosive team um, offensively. Um, really spread you out. Um, great passing ball from the team. So be a great challenge for us defensively. I know it's been a small sample size. Any thoughts on what Isaiah Thomas brings to them in terms of a different element? Well, I think like anything else, I think probably him trying to find his rhythm and get back into, you know, where he was before he was injured. But, you know, he's he's in there. He's playing well. Um, certainly with the way he shoots the basketball and can drive and penetrate and pass and play, um, you know, he'll definitely give their team a different dimension. Yeah, I know. I think you probably don't listen to a lot of what's going on in terms of other teams, but you know the Cavaliers have been struggling recently. Um, last night they barely scraped out a win against the Magic. Is there kind of a, a level of you know you can relate when it comes to you know you guys have been through some struggles, y'all are a good team, the Cavs have been through some struggles, and they're they're a good team. It, it, when you look at it as a coach, can you see that and be like? I can kind of relate to that a little bit. Well, you know, I think b b besides that point is I think what happens is sometimes people look at, you know, teams' records. You know, if you, if you look at a team like Sacramento, for instance, and, and the way they've played over the last month and what their record is, I think some people identify a team that maybe doesn't have a favorable record as being a team that's been blown out every single time they play. And that's certainly not the case. I think it really probably speaks more to the fact that, you know, there's, there's good teams and you have to play well. Um, and I think like anything else, when you're bringing in Isaiah Thomas back, you know, to, to their team is probably um, a learning curve there for their team. Um, you know, they're a team that's been in the finals, you know, quite a bit. Uh, teams are always going to be ready to play against them. And, um, you know, I just think the parity in the league a lot of times and how competitive the league is. And these guys are all pros. You know, guys are going to come out and play. Is it better for you as a coach to have the one-off road game with base repair as opposed to having a road trip where you have you know a cluster of games to, to go yeah on. I mean I, I like you know at certain points I think we got into that, that month of December where it was really really challenging just mm -hmm. because we were playing every other night and it's really really hard to practice and there's some back to backs thrown in there I think with maybe 17 or 18 months in the uh, games in the entire month and that's challenging um, you know some of these days are good where you can get um, you know a really really good practice day we had a really good day today and then you know come off this Cleveland game we get another two days to you know and you want you don't want to waste those days you want to utilize them but I also think too is guys playing every other day also get into a rhythm as well so the schedule is what it is you just got to manage it the best you can and work around it as best you can anybody else